Today I have a slightly different type of video for you. All of my videos so far have been set in cities. And there's a lot to see in cities. But today I'm in a beautiful Yorkshire village. The village is called Thornton Le Dale. It's in North Yorkshire, just below the North York Moors, which are over there. You might have noticed it's not a normal vibe today. This weekend there is a special event on called the Scarecrow Festival. Just across the road. All around the village they have placed scarecrows that people have made. And the idea is that you tour the village and see all the scarecrows. A nice ice cream shop. I might be there later. Here's one. I'm sure a lot of people know who this is. Wallace and Gromit. Highly recommend watching it actually. It's probably very good to learn English as well. I think it's hilarious. It's, it's uh, traditional to watch it at Christmas in England. There's another. I'm not sure who that is. I wish my sisters would help me with the cleaning. Who might that be? I have no idea. I think a lot of them have riddles on to help you figure out who it is. There's about 50 in total. Those people were collecting all the scarecrows. They had a piece of paper which they were recording them on. I might do that later in the day. By the way, Thornton and Dale isn't any old village. It's incredibly beautiful. I'm fortunate enough to have family who live here. So I visit them quite a lot. Let's wait for these people. Thank you. Thank you. This is the Beck. Yeah. 
you might have noticed this isn't stereotypical English weather. This weekend is particularly hot. It's as high as 26 degrees or 28 degrees even today. I should really walk slower, otherwise I'll get really sweaty. This is a great place to come and paddle, come and paddle on a day like this. It's really shallow water. Perfect for paddling, which will cool you down nicely. Again, I might have to come here later in the day because I'm getting very hot. English people aren't used to weather like this. It's just one weekend where it's going to be particularly nice. And then it will return. It's a more typical English weather next week. I'm visiting my family this weekend, so I thought that it would be nice to give you a tour of the village. Since it's not scenery that I will get to film very often. And it's one of my favourite places to come. I really need to walk slower. I'm actually very tempted to go for a paddle, like that doggy is. Hey. Because it's not sunny very often in England, when it is sunny, Everyone makes the most of it. And everyone is clearly having such a wonderful time. There aren't any scarecrows around here, but I've just taken you on a quick tour of the prettiest bit of the village, I think, in my opinion, before we start looking at all the scarecrows that people have made. thornton Dale is what you'll call a village. It's smaller than a town. There's a town, there's a neighbouring town called Pickering. And then in the UK, in order to be a city, you have to have a cathedral. So a town with a cathedral is a city. I suppose the distinction between a village and a town is quite vague. 
often it's the vibe of the place. Here it has very villagey vibes. And because you have to have a cathedral in order to be a city, you can get some very big towns that aren't technically cities because they don't have any cathedrals. And likewise, you can have very small places, small towns that have a cathedral and are called cities. For example, I grew up in a nice city called Litchfield, although it's one of the smallest cities in the UK. And there are much bigger towns. I'm really hot. Thornton Adale Bowls Club. Have you heard of the game Bowls? I've only played it a few times. It's where someone throws a small white ball and then everyone has bigger balls which they have to try and land on top of the white ball. Good fun. Ah, a bit of shade, very nice. I think I'll spend the rest of the day sat in the garden drinking beer and having a barbecue. That sounds ideal to me. There's a very gentle breeze as well, which is lovely. Should I go this way? I think so. Public footpath. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. I think this is the right way. To get back to the festival and the village centre. I'm going to get an ice cream for the rest of the Scarecrow tour. There's a nice man who sells ice cream from a small little stall around the duck pond in the village. I spoke to him earlier in the day. So I'm going to go and buy an ice cream from him. Who have we here? Get well soon. I feel like I should know who that man is. He might be a famous doctor, but I'm not sure. There's a pub just there with a beer garden. That will fill up soon. We're rejoining the village now.
Can you read that? We would like you to take a bear to thank the NHS for their care. Knitted during lockdown by a local lady. That did look nice. I'll leave them for someone who wants them more than me. Maybe you had to put money into a box, like a donation, in order to get one. I'm not too sure. I think the rest of the Scarecrow Trail is just through here, in the duck pond. I was actually there earlier in the day. There was a tombola where I won some chocolate and a can of beer. And I also bought a beanie from the Yorkshire Air Ambulance, which is there. Time to go buy my ice cream. Hi again. I told you I'll be back. Yes. Uh, can I have a chocolate orange one scoop, please? No problem. So you've dumped your mum? I have, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I like to talk to myself on these. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. I've just done a tour, done a tour of the village. Yeah, I'm just going to finish with a finish with a loop around the pond. Yeah. And that'll do it while licking an ice cream. A little commentary, yeah. Yeah, why not? Why not? There you go, Thank sir. you very much. £2.50. Can I pay with card, please? Of course you can, yeah. Apple Pay, Google Pay. One of them. Whatever you like, as long as you pay. Is it coming? Uh, stop the wife moaning there. Yeah. Thinking about it? There we go. Approved. Thank you very much. Enjoy your ice cream, won't you? Cheers. It's a nice little van and shop. But it's a cart, isn't it? Not a van. Who have we here? Again, I'm not sure who that is. 
there might be lots of people who you know who they are and I don't so if that's the case then please do let me know I think a lot of them are based on children's tales so if you're a parent you're maybe more likely to know who they are a lot of them I can't remember from my childhood and who's that? What's she holding? Some grapes. I'm none the wiser. This ice cream's delicious though. Mm, nearly lost it then. I'm being a good elf today. Please look across the stream to see. T G Y. Ah, oh, there they are. It's a teddy bear's picnic. I told that man I would come back later with my camera. And he was okay with it. A spider frightened me away. That's Little Miss Muffet. I know that one. I think I can even rem remember how that nursery rhyme goes. I won't say it for you. I <laughs> Google it if you don't know it. Who's this? I shouldn't be sleeping. I'm not sure. Please let me know if you know. My ice cream's melting so fast. Please, sir, can I have some more? What's that from? Is that Oliver Twist? I think that's right. It's a very famous line, but I can't remember what it's from. I think this is an annual event that's held, the Scarecrow Festival. It's a nice thing because it gets you to tour the village. Who's that? That's the Queen of Hearts. That's good. I lived in Sherwood Forest. That will be Robin Hood. I feel very proud of myself for getting these, even though they're very obvious. To a lot of people. And who is this? Three bears found me in one of their beds. I'm sure you're all screaming it. Goldilocks. That's nice. The Bug Hotel. I think that's there all the time. Hi, Dylan.
the ice cream man seems a bit busier than when I was there. Maybe I should stop for a coffee before ending this video. What do you think? I'll just drop this in the bin. That was delicious. It's a cafe right. down there. Yeah, pop on through. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, have, have you got space for just one? Just for one, just for me. For eating or a drinking, please. Yes, yeah, sure. Take a seat. Oh, great. Lunch. Thank you very much. Very nice. Maybe I should be sitting in the shade actually. It's way too hot. Hello. Oh, what base do you have? We have Moretti on tap, uh, Peroni, Black Sheep, Walter we'll Forget Grey. I'll have a Moretti please. Is that a pint? Uh, yes, yes, that's great, thank you. Is Moretti the only one on tap, did you say? Yeah. Yeah, the great then, thank you. Um, are you eating or is it just the I'm just having that, no, that's okay. It. Thanks very much. I'm scared I've got chocolate around my mouth from the ice cream. Hi. So I believe you ordered one Moretti. Yeah, that's right. I yeah. Heard me speak I, I briefly, them. something's up with the machine. Yeah, it's just, it's just slower. Like okay. It has been made, but it's <laughs> right. not quite as quick no as No worries, as long as it's coming, that's I'm fine. That. No problem at all, thank you. Hi. I think the um, Moretti might be sort of another, I'm guessing about sort of five or so minutes. Okay, I'll switch. Shall I switch? Shall I? If that's convenient for you. Yeah, that sounds like great. Black sheep or, uh, Did you say you had um, wall top? I'm alright. I'm saying, I like bottles of wall top. Um, I'm Beer. not sure. If not, I'll have a peroni, please. Peroni, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. So, I'm sorry about Oh, no problem at all, no. Oh, brilliant. Oh, thank really you. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. That's great. Thank you. Oh, that 
Thank you very much. That's brilliant. Oh, no problem. I'm sure it'll be a very long day for you if it's working that slowly. Thank you. Hey, can I just pay, please? I brought you this back. Sorry about the quiz. Oh, not at all, no problem. We had a problem. Yeah. 450 then, please. Thank you. Did you get it fixed? Because I'm sure you'll get a lot of yeah. uh, <laughs> variety orders later. On a day like today, thank you. It's warm, isn't it? It is. I'll sizzling out there. Do you want me to see? No, it's okay. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Take care. That was very nice. Let's cross over here. There's another scarecrow as well. One of the two. That place was a cafe and bike shop combined. It's quite a common format now in the UK. Maybe because cyclists love coffee. What do you say? Number 32. Is that a nurse? And who's this? In the days of old, I was called a B R W O. I'm not sure. Let me know if you do. Let me know if you know. I just had the thought, as I was walking around past all the scarecrows, I was assuming that everyone will be as familiar with the stories as I was, but maybe they're stories that are only told in England. So I'm not, I'm not sure if the characters who were, who had scarecrows made of them are common characters where you're from. I worded that badly. Maybe the characters were only in stories that are told in England and they, those fairy tales aren't told in your country. So let me know if that's the case. And why not read some English fairy tales? If not, although I'm sure that fairy tales are I'm sure those fairy tales are told in every country. I will wrap up this video. Thank you for joining me on this tour of the village. It's something a bit different to my normal videos in the city centres. So please let me know if you enjoyed it. Leave me a nice comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.